And you've just entered the Jar Delight Delight's Kitchen. Kitchen. On today's episode, we're going to be making sorrel. Sorrel is a delicious drink. Oh, I love it. That I, love I could it. drink all day, every day, all year. <laughs> but did you know that apparently there's a leafy green, also called sorrel, that people can get confused with the hibiscus flowers that we use as well? Really? Yeah, apparently there's two. Oh, okay. But I, anyways, I didn't, know I didn't know that. More about that later. I'll okay. tell you way more about it later. Perfect. Well, today's episode, we're going to be making this sorrel mix. Now, the great thing about the jar delights is that it's all set up, right? So it's all measured out. You actually have the, the spices too. So you have the cinnamon, you have the bay leaf, you have the clove, you have ginger, and you also have the essence. And you have the recipe card that's already spelled out for you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a very big pot, big pot, fill it with uh, 16 to 20 cups of water. We're gonna let that boil. And then once you put that to boil, while we're waiting for that to boil, let's talk about when. When do you enjoy your sorrel? When do you think most people enjoy their sorrel? Usually, I know my mom usually makes it during Christmas, yeah. New Year's. Yeah. We try to get her to make it throughout the year, but it doesn't always happen. I've tried that too. It's tough. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, that's traditionally when it gets made. It's mm. that it's a holiday drink, so people make it at Christmas, mm. Easter, you know, um, New Year's, any sort of like family gathering. Yes. It's one of those drinks that's out on the table with all the other food. Because oh, yes. it's a drink that has so much benefits to it. Yeah. And during the holiday season, you could always mm. add a little that reminds me, definitely. I know my parents usually add a little bit of rum to it, yeah. but when you do that, be cautious because you want to separate the sorrel for the family and then the sorrel for the big people. Yes. Right? The adults version. So now that our water has boiled, now we are going to add the sorrel mix to it. There you yeah. go. So you want to add the sorrel mix. Okay. What you want to also add the spices. Okay. So now this is the pouch you were telling telling us about. Yes. I don't. I want to take this out, right? Yes. I'm not putting this. That's in. the essence. We're gonna add it later on. So I'm putting everything else in. There we go. Yes. And we're going to let that steep. So you can take it off the heat at this point. You can let it steep for four to six hours. And while we wait, maybe we have time for. I think we have time for a little tiny tidbit. Tiny tidbit. Yes. So what can I tell you about the sorrel flower, the sorrel hibiscus flower that we know? Yeah. Is that it's got a rich history of being um, rich in antioxidants and it's got uh, high levels of iron, vitamin A, vitamin C. So it's got this tart flavor mm. and um, being that it's got that sort of tartness, but really high levels of nutrients in it, it's very good and it's very um, enriching for people who have like anemia, mm. but like not not as a replacement for medication, okay. but just as an enhancement to a diet. So if you're so a supplement, a supplement, yeah, right. So somebody who who maybe has low iron levels but doesn't eat a lot of meat mm -hmm. can also, you know, instead of because it's got um, uh, properties of certain leafy greens mm -hmm. and leafy greens we all know have lots of iron in them, yes, you can definitely add that in. So it also helps with hypertension, cramps, depression, and digestion. So there's a lot of benefits to adding this more than just during your holiday season, but make sure that if you're adding it to your diet during the regular season, don't use the, the it, minus the rum, because <laughs> so they gave all the benefits of it. But if you do want to add the rum, make sure you're adding a dark rum or a spice rum, because a white rum will um, sort of flatten all the flavors of the spices that we're already putting in, yeah. and we don't want to have that. We want to make sure we get all those flavors and all those spices. Yeah. You know, it's part of the beauty of the drink. Of course, I love it. There you go. Tastes great. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna let this steep and let's see how it uh, how it all comes out afterwards. Exciting. Now that it has cooled. Uh, it sat down for four to six hours, so it's very much cooler than it was before. So now we're ready to strain. This is 
the fun part. When you uncover it, you just smell the sorrel. It just smells great. Oh, yes. Yeah. So now we want to strain wait. it. So you want to have a big bowl, because remember this is uh, about 18 cups of water. So you definitely want to have a big bowl to, to, to hold all of it. Look at that, look at the color. Mm. Oh. Rich color, you see the texture in there. You want to be careful because the actual sorrel will come out towards the end and it may cause a, a bit of a splash. Hi, I'm Ron from Best Fight Catering. Uh, the tip today is on sorrel to control the amount of sweet. I'll give you my rule of thumb. Basically, this is 205 grams of sorrel, right? So for 205 grams of sorrel, I, I usually do four to one ratio in water, right? So that'll probably bring me to 820 um, grams or milliliters. What I will do is then I will take it to a liter, take it to the nearest uh, 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 one liter mark. And for this, once you boil the sorrel, and also when you're boiling the sorrel, the sorrel should only come to a boil for about five to 10 minutes. Leave it overnight, leave it in, in, in the stock itself before you strain. You'll get a better results that way. For the amount of sugar to control the, the, the sweetening, because Sorrel tend to be a little acidic and you have to be very careful with acidic and sweet because the more sugar you add to it, right, the acidity level will probably, the ratio will drop, uh, the ratio will not drop in proportion to the sugar you add. So you'll actually be adding more sugar to it than actually needed. But I'll give you my, my, uh, my rule of thumb. This is 205 grams, which is about close to about a, a half a pound, right? To control the sugar for that with a four to one ratio, I will go anywhere from start off at about 150 to 200 grams of sugar. 150, you can actually check to see, okay, that might be good for me, to 200 grams of sugar. And you should be all right. If your sugar level or your, your is, is more high, then you can add more for fur. But for me and for what I've been doing with sorrel, that's certainly fine for it, all right? So thank you, Ron from Best Buy Catering. If you need to find out more about Caribbean products and food, go to carryfood.com. That's C-A-R-I-B-E, food, F-W-D, H-U-B hub.com. And I have more recipes there. There's nice videos so you can also look at. Out. Oh, wow. Thanks, Ron, for your advice. Guys, remember, he said for every two liters of, of sorrel, he'll put about 250 grams. So you're going to have to work that out for your ratios based on your taste. Fantastic. So thank you so much to Ron from Best Bites for providing that insight. Um, you can follow us on Facebook and on Instagram at West Can Folk. You can also like this video, subscribe to our page for all the other Dirty Lights uh, kitchen that we're going to do. And now I think it's time for us to enjoy, so we're going to call in Aisha. Aisha, What's these up? are all ready. Oh, so excited. I'm smelling it. I'm smelling it. It smells nice. All right. Cheers, ladies. Oh, yes. <laughs> sit up, sit up. Mm. I guess when I told you guys I love sorrel. Yeah, you gotta have the biggest laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers! Bye bye! bye. Mm. I like it. Chantel. And my name is Isa. 
And you have entered the Jar West End. Ah, what? <laughs> you have entered the West, West End. Join the West Kitchen, though. <laughs> That's the first time you're adding that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take this pot and we're going to put it to boil. It's already good. It's already good. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 People are gonna be like, isn't that a hot pot? 